So, a while back I actually did a Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition series, but it was so incoherent that I always wanted to reboot the entire series, but I could never find the time to do so. So if you remember like a couple months back, I had mentioned that I wanted to reboot a series and I didn't tell you what it was. This is one of them. So I want to play through the entire game from beginning to end. I want to do all bosses. Also, by the time that this finally came out, Jacksepticeye actually released a video maybe a month ago. I forget exactly how long ago, but he ended up releasing a video where he played the entire game in one sitting. No, I am not doing this in one sitting. I am not that good at this game, <laughs> as you're about to see. But he did do a strength build, and I kind of feel like I want to do the same thing. Except I'm not going to do the same build that he did. I'm going to do his Y-Hander build. Just jump into new game and start doing this. I'm not too picky on what I am, but I am going to go with whatever has the highest strength, which I think is Warrior. No? Bandit. I'm taking the Master Key. I, I regret not taking the Master Key in the last playthrough. And they don't have my signature color, so we'll go with the next best thing. Well, not that I want to copy Sean or anything, but if his character was named Bonk, I feel like mine needs to be me. Named Smash. It amuses my easy-to-amuse brain. Why not? In the Age of Ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side.
Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to stay as quiet as possible through the cutscenes. I forgot to mention that earlier. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Yeah, the first playthrough that I did was actually on the Prepare to Die edition. This is on the remastered version. Um, I have actually played the remastered version, but I've only played up to Rin in the first bell, so anything beyond that I haven't seen yet. I'm actually really interested in how the rest of this game is going to look. We'll be nice to these people. I know a lot of other people just smash the crap out of them. <laughs> well, my name is Smash. No, we'll be nice. For now. Alright, so we get ambushed by a boss here. I'm actually just gonna run past it. I normally don't take this guy out early unless I have black fire bombs, which I don't. So we're just gonna run. It would be really nice to get the demon hammer, I think it is. Hammer? Axe? I don't remember. Why do I always make this mistake? Now he's gonna be shooting at me while I'm trying to switch weapons. Yep. This will work. It would be nice to have the big demon weapon from killing the boss early, but I'm probably just gonna use Y Hand Earth pretty much through the entire playthrough. I've never done like a, a weapon specific build before. Kinda wanna just try it. Can you roll the ball please? Thank you. This is where we get our healing item. I'm just gonna skip past him because he's like, oh, I'm dying here, have this. There you go. And then he's like, get out of here before I turn into a hollow and try to kill you. And then he dies. Right there. Rip Oscar. So you'd be missed, but most people forget you even exist, so. Ooh, I'm muting Roland. I'm probably gonna have to get used to that. Strength builds carry much heavier equipment than I'm used to, so normally I go quality build because I'm a hoarder and I like using as much stuff with one character as possible. But if I go specialized, normally it's either a dex build or a magic build. Alright. Two hand, and then when you drop off of this, spam R2. I don't remember. I. Huh. <laughs> well, this sucks. I don't know why I didn't get the plunge attack. Whatever. I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. I do like twice the damage if I two-hand. Oh, uh-oh. Mm. This is gonna be one problem with this game. I play Monster Hunter so much that I like I try to dodge Monster Hunter style in every game nowadays. It works about as well as you might expect. 
I am in one shot range right now, so I'm gonna heal right now. Don't know how I did that. Please dodge. Okay. There we go. Not sure what I did wrong with the plunge attack, but there'll be plenty of time to figure out all of that stuff and de rust. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Can I just say I really hate that name? I don't know. It just feels a little uninspired. Land of the Lords. What's it called? The L Lordran. It's like, really? Looks really, really good. I forgot how good this game looks. All right, we're going with strength upgrades right away because I'm actually gonna make a I'm gonna make a death run for these Y hander. I want to make sure I can actually wield the dumb thing. All right, let's go die. So there's these skeleton people down here that are quite frankly a little too dangerous for me to handle right now. This is this Y hander, right? Uh, that's awkward. Is it this one? There we go. And then I'll take this. And then I die by my own hand. I bend the knee to no one. Can I even wield this? <laughs> with two hands, though? Are we good with two hands? Uh-oh. No, we're not. Alright, what is it? Alright, well... No big deal, because we can meet those requirements pretty quickly. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna... I'm gonna very quickly be reminded of all the things I don't remember. <laughs> so what? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, my knee-jerk parry reaction is still there. That's good. Let's try to get through the undead berg as fast as possible. I at least want to ring the first bell of awakening. I'm kind of prepared to sit here for a very long time every episode that I record for this series. I'm kind of trying to do that with all of my series right now. That's why I've been putting a lot more hunts in my monster hunt, monster hunter videos too. I'm finally at a point too where I can finally honor the the poll that I did a while ago, where I asked people if they like the shorter or the longer videos better. Most people came back, like, almost unanimous, una unanimously, <laughs> hard word, um, that they wanted longer videos, so I can finally start honoring that. A lot of the craziness has died down. A lot of lessons learned, too, not to overtax myself. <laughs> I kind of got myself into a lot of trouble schedule-wise back in October of 2023 because I, I did way more than I ever should have for the Halloween special. Had a mini repeat of the same thing for the Christmas special. I mean, I've only been doing this for like, what, a year and a half? There's lessons to be learned. In abundance. You know, so. I mean, there's always stuff to learn. You never learn at all. This is awesome. There you go. There's your introduction to the giant dragon that could probably swallow you whole. Just casually land on the wall for a half a second and keep flying. <laughs> I can't help but notice everything is dying in one hit. Pretty sure that's not how my other playthroughs have gone. We'll go ahead and light this. 
Well, I'm gonna end up responding everything, but oh well. So we'll get that to 10, and we'll see if we can use this Y-hander now. Hopefully. Yes, there we go. Hold with both hands to use effectively. I'm okay with that, because we're going full tank build. How am I still muting rolling? Cool. But we're going tank build, and that pretty much means... <laughs> I'm probably going to get the Grass Crested Shield, or whatever it's called, Grass Crest Shield, or is it just called the Crest Shield? I forget. Anyway, I'm probably just going to get that and leave it on my back forever. Lately, I've been getting a lot more of a utilitarian approach towards video games, where if there's a tool that I can use to make my life easier, of course I'm going to use it. <laughs> Ow. I keep hitting the wrong button for dodging. Too much Monster Hunter. That was kind of a sick dodge. I am going to take out this guy first. Don't really fancy being shot. Get his attention. Plunge. Uh, just kidding. Alright, I'm trading a lot. <laughs> oh hey, we got, we got a humanity from him. Alright, I know what you all want me to do, but like I said, I want to get a certain amount of progress. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go for the Black Knight there. Probably come back for him later because if I could get his sword, that would be really cool. But, a little unlikely. I've chewed through half of my Estus already. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. It's not like I play this game very much anymore. Definitely putting, be putting that large dot knight to use. All right, let's do this. This fight's scary. So these guys need to be unsubscribed from life. I keep hitting the run button to dodge, but it's okay because his aim is abysmal. I can actually slide down ladders now. <laughs> Using DS Fix on Prepare to Die Edition, sometimes when you slide down a ladder, you can literally clip through the floor. There he is. Couldn't remember which brick it was. Alright, we are definitely ahead of schedule. Okay, he's slamming. I need you to hurry up. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. Alright, so it's this brick right here. I'm Ron. There we go. Try not to bounce off of him this time. Note to self. And yes, by the way, he can jump up here, which is why I'm kind of fighting the clock there for a second. Uh, what? Okay. Oh my goodness, the damage! <laughs> okay, well. Alright then. So that's the appeal of a strength build. <laughs> Just completely demolished him. And for the Dark Souls veterans out there, yes, I am absolutely going to be putting the lightning imbuement on this Y-hander. I don't know if it's the highest damage per hit in the game, but it's got to be close if it's not. I would actually be surprised if it's not. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent uh -huh. of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. 
<laughs> Look, you do you. I'm not judging. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Sure. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> a lot of people think that the whole time convolution is convolution a word. Sure, I can spell it and define it. The whole time being convoluted thing in this just a cop-out dragon, by the way. It's just a cop-out to explain the multiplayer system. I don't think a lot of people realize that time and reality being convoluted and phasing in and out is literally the point of all of Dark Souls. <laughs> like, the story of all of these games, and especially of Dark Souls 3, is completely centered on that idea of time and space being convoluted and intertwined. Can I get the 24? Dang it. How much more damage are we doing though? Huh? 14. That's pretty good. It'd be a lot more if I can meet that base strength requirement. Do I care about that bonfire? Not really. Down you go. Get over here. Come here. Come here. Shy or something? Hi. I like how I'm criticizing him for being hesitant to come toward me when I literally just kicked him off a cliff. Yeah, that's a problem. Please, please kill the rat. I need to retreat. There is one more rat in there, and at this low level. At this, at this low of a level, <laughs> trying to deal with poison damage is very scary. Uh, oh, nope, we're good. Alright, scary enemy ahead. Hi. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little scary. I'm gonna try to get his attention. There we go. I'm trying to get him to charge into the fire. Uh, mission failed. All right, dude, come on. You gotta just accept that your time has come. All right, well, I got this guy to deal with now. Jeez. Smash. Hey. Hey. I change his passing. Normally you could get him stuck on that fire and he would just die. Guess we're gonna have to do it the intended way. <laughs> Never played a Dark Souls game before. The Spearmen are absolutely the most annoying enemy of all time. They just turtle. They just stay behind their shield forever. I'm gonna pick these up, but then I'm gonna wait for the other swordman to get up here. I don't wanna have to deal with him while I'm trying to throw skulls. Come on, dude. Crunch. Alright, this is the intended way to deal with this boar. Go get it. There you go. It's gonna need another one. 
go get it. Now do we get the rare drop? Rare drop? Nope. Dang it. <laughs> You can drop a boar helm that's modeled after his actual armored head. I don't know if it's considered good or not, but I normally don't worry about those things in video games anyways. I don't really follow metas or stat crunch or anything. I just know it looks cool. Hi. Uh-huh. Trying to fight in enclosed spaces like this with a big weapon is going to be kind of difficult. I thought I had hyper armor on R2. Come on. How did I miss? Oh, okay, this is silly. Come on. Nice. Good throw. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. It was all part of the plan. I promise. TM. Broken straight sword, most powerful weapon in the game. Definitely not lime. Too late. This is just a shield. So I actually didn't have to do that at all. I just chose violence. Alright. If you're new to Dark Souls, whenever you're in a corridor like this, and there's a T at the end of the hallway, it's a trap. Trust me. So there is a Spearman to the right, but there's also a Balder Knight off to the left. So I kind of have to step out here and aggro them both to get the Balder Knight first. And then the Spearman comes out and he's next here in a moment. Another Titan Knight Shard. Awesome. I absolutely want those Titan Knight Shards right now because... We're coming up on the blacksmith, and I can upgrade this Y-hander very quickly. That will be very, very nice. Alright, I want him to charge. Except he's refusing. Okay, not the one I wanted to charge, but it works. Lawn sword. why the game is giving me so many weapons. <laughs> Can you hear the blacksmith already? Andre Vastora. A lot of people's favorite character. Alright dude, please, please upgrade my Zweihander. I want more damage. Well. I am damage greedy. Also, I also want to learn your gesture. And then this. I think I can do this twice. Alright, let's see if me if we can meet the 24 strength requirement. Dang it. Alright, but this is more damage. It's only two more damage, but we're very close to meeting that threshold, and we'll be doing a lot more damage once we once we exceed it, because this thing scales off of strength pretty, str pretty strongly. We're gonna come over here and talk to this guy, because this is probably my favorite character in the entire game. He just looks so sad. Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh... Have I waited? So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> I don't know what's funny about that, but I love you. I'm pretty sure Onion Bro is probably a lot of people's favorite character. <laughs> it's just weird to have such a cheery individual juxtaposed with the incredibly depressing world that we're in. <laughs> I met in game, but you know. Okay. Let's demolish these people. Smash. Iframes. Alright, now we have a truly terrifying enemy to face. 
It's our very first large armored enemy. And he's very scary to fight. I always take him out here. Just more space. If he does overhead, which he's not. <laughs> that was really close. Oh my goodness. I can't see that dodge. Ugh. The overhead is the one that we want, the one that he just did. Okay. He can charge. I don't remember that. Now's the time to chug. He's not doing the overhead attack very much, but I only have to hit him one more time, so I don't really care. Oh, that works. When it does the overhead slam with the maze, it actually comes out so so slowly that so long as you're strafing, it will always miss. You don't even have to dodge. So I like it when he does that attack a lot. He only did it once this time. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Taking this firekeeper soul to the firekeeper immediately. We'll use this shortcut. And I've only been going for about an hour and we're pretty close to fighting the first boss. It's fine. I might have to worry about health, but at least I don't have to worry about damage. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. By the lords! <laughs> Damn fool! Enough of you! Uh oh. I didn't think that'd do enough lords. damage to permanently aggro him, but I don't care. Mm, but it did. So this game very much follows logic. Um, very similar to Berserk. Berserk gets brought up a lot with Dark Souls because it is probably one of the biggest inspirations <laughs> um, for Miyazaki. He was a cleric of the Church of the Way of White. The Way of Whites, if I can say that a little more clearly. In Berserk... The roles are kind of flipped, where the angels and light side are actually evil, and then the the dark side is actually the good. That is a very strong theme throughout all of Dark Souls. Even the endings, people get backwards quite often because they don't know this. Kindling the fire is actually the bad ending, <laughs> while the Age of Dark is actually how the cycle is supposed to go, and what will bring people peace a little sooner, as much peace as can be found in this world. but. But he represents the way of white that wants the world, the, the the flame to be rekindled so that the world can keep going in the age of fire. These chests are his. And if you'll notice, after I killed him, he dropped to humanity. The only way you can get humanity is by killing other people. And he has cracked red eye orbs. So he's been invading other worlds to kill people, to collect humanity. There's this talisman and his Morningstar mace. That's how we know these are his and not just some random thing left behind. And of course, Homeward Bones. I don't remember what this one is. All Lloyd's Talisman. And the Lloyd's Talismans. This is how you learn about the lore in these games, by the way. You read stuff. Talismans utilized by Allfather Lloyd's cleric knights to hunt down the undead. So that cleric was an undead hunter, is pretty much what's going on. That's where he got the humanity from. That's what the red eye, the cracked red eye orbs are for. Yeah. In the outside world, the undead are cursed creatures, and Lloyd's cleric knights are widely praised for their undead hunts. This blessed talisman blocks undead recovery, allowing the knights to fight with impunity. So he was literally hunting down our kind. And farming humanity to try to keep himself from Halloween, because he himself was also undead. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. The Way of the White, very, very evil in this game. Um, I think I have enough for another- what the heck? Why are you chasing me this far? 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I could kill just one of them. The problem with these guys is when they get swarmed. Oh yeah, I can take them out. Um, okay. Can I level up? Nope. Um, I think I walked past all of the soul drops. <laughs> there are consumable items that you can use to get more souls, but I'm pretty sure I walked past them all. I think this is fire bombs. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. We'll head for the first boss. Basically, he's gonna buff all of these little dudes, and then they're gonna rush me. And they're all a bunch of jackasses that can kill you very quickly because they're buffed. <laughs> Holy crap, hi. Um, you normally don't chase me. I'd rather not get magicked to death. Can you... Okay, can you not do that, first of all? All three of you need to die. This guy's running because of course he is. It's very hard to heal when they're running like that. Can catch up to you and hit you while you're healing. I don't know why I hit the R1 there. Can you just stop? Thank you. Now the bright side to this is that now all the little the little ones are dead. This guy does not respawn. So so long as I kill him, then the next time we have to go through here, it won't be near as bad. Drop the trident. Damn it. He can drop that trident that he's holding. I think it's a dex weapon, so I wouldn't have used it anyways, but it would have been cool. <laughs> I think it's dropped for me, like, once. Alright, we're gonna let this guy out of his cage. And then I have to decide if I want to run back and get his ring immediately. Now we're right here, and I'll have Solara with me, so we should be fine. Yep, you're welcome. He got locked in there because he's a less than savory individual. And if you let him live, he'll do less than savory things. I won't spoil exactly what ends up happening, but I always kill him before he can do anything. Um, because if you kill him, you get his ring. And it's called the Fap Ring. No, you did not just hear me wrong. It's the acronym. It's a ring of favor and protection. Boosts a lot of your core stats. It's definitely a really, really good ring to have. The catch is that you can never unequip it, because if you do, it breaks. And you can never re-equip it. But why on earth would you ever unequip it? So... <laughs> Alright, Solaire. Let's do this. Let's go die. I don't have anywhere near as much resistance or health that I normally have at this point in the game. Raise the sun. I'm doing way more damage, though. So, let's hope that's enough. Oh, I wonder what's up there. Surely none of those statues are going to come to life. Dang it. So this is a lot of people's first boss fight in this game. Well, second, because the Asylum Demon is technically the first, but I don't really want to be back here, but at the same time I do. I don't want him to knock me off this ledge. But he is one of the most annoying types of boss fights in the entire game. This is a DPS fight. So he really needs to die before the second one shows up, and that was kind of perfect timing. Because when you have to fight both of them at the same time, this fight gets really miserable. At least at low level. And he really likes his flames. I'm gonna have to try to get around them. There we go. No. Thank you, Solaire. I miss. It's up to you, Solaire. Thank you.
We got a sunlight medal because we had a sun bro with us. A lot of souls. Oh my goodness. Gives us a lot for this low level. There's an invisible man right there. Right here. Don't believe me? Well, just wait a second. Alright, that's first bell down. One hour. That wasn't bad at all. Could have been a lot sooner if I didn't screw up the Taurus Demon fight the first time around. <laughs> so that's one. Yeah, here's our invisible person. Told you there was somebody there. <laughs> I really want that endurance and equipment load, so I'm actually going to prioritize that. But we do have more health now. I should go back to Firelink and get my ring. Alright, this guy is incredibly hard to fight at this low level, so we're just gonna... Doink. 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 Why are you doing this to me? Doink. Get, get up there. Doink. There we go. Bye. Alright, and now we'll save and reload. And just like that, the ring is ours. So this ring I will never, ever, 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 ever take off. So it boosts our health by like 130. Our stamina is a lot higher, our equip load is a lot higher. Of course it breaks if we ever take it off, but I'm never taking it off, so. Um, I never took the, the soul to this person. So we'll do that now. Estes Flask is now upgraded. And just like that, we are the farthest I've ever been in this remake. I actually have to stop here, but we will absolutely be taking down the second bell in the next episode. I already have the master key. It shouldn't be that difficult to take down um, whatever her name is. Quailag. Quailag? Quailana? There's too many quays. Anyway, <laughs> spider lady. So we'll do that in the next episode. But for now, that's going to be it. So don't forget to like, sub, share, all of that if you want to. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. A special thank you to all of my supporters. Ye Ordinary Cat. Tony. Ark Panda. J Stan. Mukose. Kira Fox. And of course, all anonymous tippers. If you'd like to support me, all info and links are in the description below. It's of course not obligatory, but highly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!